As the title says, I'm not reviewing the GoPro Hero 9, but I did get one, and here it is. So what should I call this, status update? It makes sense, but it's not a title that'll get views. So what should we call this? American Flag Garden Tractor Extreme. We could try that. So this is the first video I've made since going live, like the literal video, and actually releasing videos to this channel. Right now there's a large gap between making videos and them actually getting released, but it will get tighter as this moves on. Hey look, another episode of Car Talk. Car talk. Car talk. Of course you can hear the gas sloshing around in that thing. Everything is a audio nightmare. We're just gonna, however it's gonna be, this is an example of why I don't do car talk anymore. So yeah, car talk. This is a thing that I won't be doing that much anymore, unless it's in the script. This started more as a symptom of trying to fit doing videos into my schedule of doing worky things. When I first started doing this channel, I was doing a lot of work like this. It was convenient because I could make videos doing something I was already doing. But there's only so many lawnmower montages I want to do. And really, it's all the same yards every week, so you're not missing much. But yeah, still doing stuff like this. This is a leaf blower. It blows leaves. Since I've actually gone live and videos are actually happening now, I feel a little more legit. I feel a little less uh, like I'm just doing a thing that might not work. Clearly it's happening now and it's all in. I think there's things that I was uncertain about. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be as, we'll say spammy about stuff. Uh, trying to get like a social media start when it comes to having it so that it wasn't on day one, nobody watched. And I did a test like a couple months before starting and the results of that test were if I did things the way I usually do them, I would get seven viewers about and one of them was probably me. So the conclusion is that you can't be afraid of being annoying. You gotta, you gotta go out there and be pushy. And same thing starting off. This isn't how it was planned. It wasn't supposed to be like November and it's like finally I'm starting. It was supposed to be August. I don't know if you remember that, but I said in August, late August, three months, I was expecting to actually have stuff going. And it took twice as long. Everything took twice as long as I thought it would. Do I wish that I could work faster? Probably everyone wishes they could work faster. But in the end, did it make it better? Yeah, I think it did. I think it made things more cohesive. I'm not much of like a practicer. I'm not much of a like, let's just do tests. So I like to think that everything is for real and as it turns out, not everything works, so you end up having to redo stuff and figure things out. And uh, sometimes you can make it part of a show, but you can't repeat yourself too much. You know, if you're if you're going through something that's a similar thing, there's only so many times you can talk about that same thing in just a little different version of it. But I would say that I am a little more traditional. I tend to view things as story and character. I'm trying to do is that I'm a character, this is a story, doesn't really matter if 
So some newcomer comes in halfway and they're not really sure well, what's the context of this. If anything, it makes older videos more valuable because if somebody really cares, they will check. They'll go back and be like, oh, like something in this video was talked about? Well, what was this video? And oh, let me go back and actually have an interest in seeing older videos. So I think it's a good thing. I think if you give people exactly what they want, they are very displeased. Very displeased? I don't know. They're generally displeased. <laughs> I think people like it when they don't get what they want all the time. I think they like expectations not being met or exactly how they think something will be. Just to add to that, it's probably an evolutionary thing. If we humans made Utopia, we'd probably rebel against it. I think there's something about being able to actually uh, identify things that can have improvement. Hmm. Identify things that could actually use improvement and uh, imagine yourself as doing it. So I think it's motivating for people to see things as incomplete so they have something to strive for. So I think that adds to the whole character and story thing. I think it makes it so that you can't just like take for granted that something is always going to be the way it is or that it will be a predictable thing and that makes it more interesting. Just like early episodes show me failing sometimes. I'm not going to like stop failing. I think that's a good thing to include. I think it makes you a better character. You don't want to just pretend to be a person who knows what they're doing all the time and is like a know-it-all and is like saying all the right things. I think it's unrelatable. I think, again, people might be like, oh, like, look at that great person. But at the same time, I think they, I think they want to kill that great person. <laughs> I think the time of the idol is done. I think the, the whole relatability thing, letting yourself be a character and not a model is more valuable in this time period. to do things that sort of build upon videos so that old videos don't just become obsolete. Like if they're all based on things that are time relevant. I don't like being too like, this is time relevant. I know the whole six month thing, there's a few things in it that they are mildly time relevant, but there's nothing that was really a big deal. My GoPro thing, you talk about the Hero 5, but it was already an added camera. So I only mildly referenced the Hero 5. It was mostly about GoPro mounts and techniques and stuff like that. So there may be a little stuff that, in using the Hero 9 now, that is totally different than the Hero 5. I think some notes on the Hero 9, I know I'm not reviewing it, but it is increasingly more frustrating to use the touch screen. It seems worse. It seems like in the Hero 5, I was editing videos. I was editing out false, you know, you tap something and it doesn't do anything and you gotta tap, 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 because it wasn't the plot line of it. But in reality, all GoPros have kind of this like, sometimes it doesn't register input. And the Hero 9 is just like way more of that. It's really frustrating. I find it easier, the Hero 9, to do stuff with the iPhone app. You got the screen on the front, it's great. But unless you have preset settings, which is, you know, pros and cons, it's, it makes it easier to get up and going when you have your presets. But at the same time, every time you want to change something, you have to save it as a preset. It's kind of annoying. But because it's so hard to set things up on this thing, it's like, oh, well, I just tapped the preset. So overall, like, I'm glad to use it, but there's some annoying things and it's easier to use the GoPro app to actually set it up when you're like, really like, I got to change some stuff. So that's just the thing about the R9, but just to finish my other story. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, could we change this title back to I'm not reviewing the GoPro Hero 9? Aside from the fact that I'm already late to the party, this video isn't coming out till January, I didn't review it all that much. Yeah, like the 5K, like the front facing screen, image stabilization much better, but this isn't a review. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been driving around with this giant drum this entire episode. What's the deal with said drum? This drum was given to me by the artist formerly known as the world's greatest Chad, who has recently rebranded himself as Chad to the Bone on YouTube, Instagram and life in general. He's a self-proclaimed badass with a cutesy adorable streak and he says to me, Hey, take this drum and put it in your next video. I want this drum in next video. So here we are at the end of next video. And here's the drum. The deal is done. And now this drum is my drum. I had some assistance with this video, the real Chad of the Bone and the world's greatest Roxanne Pandolfi.